Hi there, I'm Mike, and today we're going to talk about Fish Spaceman Admiral Akbar. Why am I choosing Admiral Akbar? It's not a super contemporary release that uh, has just come out, although this one did. And what I did was I sat down to do a comparison between these two and realized that I never got around to reviewing this. And then I realized I never got around to reviewing this. So we're going to review all three because... Why not? They're actually mostly the same figure, and we'll get into that. We're going to start with the oldest one. This is Admiral Akbar from The Force Awakens 2017 Toys R Us exclusive. He actually came in a two-pack with uh, First Order <laughs> Ted Cruz. He's going off to Cabo, uh, and we're just going to talk about Admiral Akbar here. So I want to start off by saying for a 2017 release, this is actually pretty fantastic. Look at this face. This is a snack. And what I mean by that is he looks like he would be delicious with some garlic butter. Admiral Snack Bar, he is, but he's also a fantastic looking figure, at least on the face here. I mean, again, look at the sculpting. The paint is fantastic, even the eye. For 2017, which was a low point in the Black Series, I'm not even talking about sequel hate here, which you're not gonna get from me. I actually enjoyed the sequels for the most part. So Admiral Akbar here has some fantastic sculpting, but he joins the ranks of Bosk and the Gamorrean Guard and even Jabba the Hutt by having an opening mouth here. Now he does sacrifice this opening mouth by not having a movable, like rotational head. It does not move side to side. It's actually got a weird looking um, peg inside there. Also his jaw uh, is a little wobbly down there because of how it works, but he's actually got a lot of great sculpting even inside the mouth. There's a uvula back there. I didn't even know Mon Calamari had uvula. The problem here is that once you get his mouth open this wide, which is as wide as it goes, by the way, uh, he starts looking a little bit Canadian. Don't call me a rat, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. But Canadian this aside, fantastic head sculpt. One of the best in the entire line, especially for an alien. Let's move down here, starting with his torso. So we've got some sculpting. Let's be honest though, it's pretty boring, pretty bland. He's just wearing one of those resistance uniforms, which as much as I actually do like the sequels, I have to say they're, uh, the costuming is not my favorite part for anyone on there. And this is no exception. He's just wearing a uniform, but he does have a nice sharply painted little insim uh, insignia here. I don't know if this is, if he's still an admiral, I'm assuming, but after 30 years, you'd think that uh, he'd have gotten a higher rank than admiral. Uh, moving on with sort of his articulation, he does have this really nice torso cut up here, but from the side, it looks weird because he has like this weird sort of like paunch He's got a tummy. Uh, I dig it because you know what? After 30 years of sitting in his really cool space high chair, why wouldn't he? And from the front, it looks fine. It is weird from the side. We have an uh, arm that goes out that far. Because it's before 2018, uh, there's no butterfly joint here because that didn't exist in the line back then. We have an elbow joint here that moves pretty well. The problem here, all of the ant bars suffer from this. These lines right here, these are ratchets. And I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be flipped the other way like this. But that's not right. That's not how this is supposed to go. But every Akbar is like this. They've put the ratchets on the uh, inside of the figure, which is really, really weird. Uh, and it's there. You can feel them as you're moving them because you can feel it as it catches it. It's supposed to give the figure, you know, stability in his arms. Most figures have ratchets, but they're on the inside instead of this side here. So it's really weird that he has them. Moving on to his lower arm here, we have some more fantastic sculpting on that forearm. Again, looks delicious. The sculpt, the paint, the detail. Uh, we even have like these little black dots on here. And then we have these little flipper hands. Again, fantastic sculpting. Uh, we have, a, of course, a twist at the wrist as well as a hinge. Uh, he can get in some fun poses if you want him to. Uh, on this side, he has the same kind of thing going on, but this 
hand is molded to hold the blaster, which is not my favorite thing in the world, but uh, he does have to hold something, I guess. And let's talk about the blaster now. Uh, it's a good blaster. It's got paint on it. It's sort of the updated version of this classic uh, Rebel Alliance blaster that we've seen as far back as A New Hope. Maybe a little bit heavier duty or a little bit more futuristic since it is 30 years in the future, but it definitely looks like it's sort of a, a direct, like a Pokemon evolution from it. Uh, so he's got that. He does not have any holster. There's no place to holster it. So he's got to hold it or or not. Those are those are his options. From here up, he's a very well done, very unique, fantastic looking figure with great sculpting, uh, you know, unique parts, love it. But then from the waist down, he's just a dude. And that's not necessarily Hasbro's fault. That's just what Admiral Akbar looks like. He's just wearing pants. He's just wearing boots, which, you know, when you think about it, how come he's got weird fish crustacean forearms arms and hands and head but like there's clearly these are just legs you'd think if he had these weird appendages and spiky things down here he would have to wear some sort of weird pants or shoes to accommodate his more crustacean looking fish parts but he doesn't he's just wearing pants he's just wearing boots he either he knows how to stuff his fins down up here he's like a reverse mermaid it's like human down here and just fish up here have we ever seen a mon calamari naked do you want to i kind of do now so then moving on finally back in 2020 so three years after this one came out we got the updated version of admiral akbar this was part of the very first wave of the redesigned boxes the galaxy wave boxes let's talk about what's different and what's the same because there are differences but there are definitely similarities he has the exact same head now the paint is different there's a lot as you can see there's a lot more splotchiness Ooh, this is really hard to hold in two hands he still has the opening mouth and all of that stuff the paint is a lot more mo modeled, I, I suppose, uh, than it is on here. So I suppose as they age, Mon Calamari lose their, their dots. That's like the reverse liver spotting, I guess. But just look at this again, the head sculpt. They didn't need a new one. This is phenomenal. Fantastic painting. Now this was done post photo real uh, digital printing. The paint should be better. And uh, I definitely think it is. The eyes are glossy, the different striations and, and spots and motlid marks and whatnot all look fantastic. So let's move on down to his chest. Now, uh, the head is the same, but the chest itself and his upper arms are brand new. So we have his space smock. Looks like he was doing some arts and crafts before he jumped onto the Mon Calamari crew and went to go fight at the Battle of Endor. As far as I can tell, it is not removable. It seems like there should be some parts here where it could easily unpeg, but it does not. I'm sure you could probably do the whole boil and pop or heat and pop thing to get some body parts out and then remove it, but it's clearly not intended to be removed. We have paint on this little insignia rank mark thing whatever this is up there there's some great painting on there and then on his belt we just have some paint apps going all the way around it uh, which is fantastic now uh, the shoulders are new i actually looked at them closely and the little folds do not match which means that hasbro took the time to mold new upper arms but these lower arms are the exact same even down to these little ratchets they are the same so i don't know if it's intended to look like that or they've just been misassembling akbar since 2017. Uh, he has the exact same hands just with better or different paint on the front uh, and then again he comes with this blaster let's talk about the blaster back in power of the force 2 when they first started redoing star wars figures every character had to come with some sort of gun because they were toys they wanted them to have blasters heck they turned r5d4 into a blaster so i get you know they want to give them some sort of play value so they give him a blaster even though in the movie he never he never picks up a blaster the whole time he's just sitting in his space high chair floating around you know dictating whether things are or are not a trap and let me tell you this guy right here he's a trap a thirst trap 
I've been holding on to that one in the snack bar thing for a while. The blaster itself is nice. It's got some paint on it, just like the other one, but it's molded in the darker plastic which I prefer. I would have preferred almost anything else to a blaster. The new the Vintage Collection one comes with this weird handheld box thing. The original toy from the 80s came with, you know, that little command stick. I would have loved any of those, but he comes with a blaster, which is fine, I guess. It is what it is. He comes with what he comes with. But let's move on down uh, to the lower part of his waist. So he has, where, where they could have just given him the same pants if they wanted to be lazy about it, they they weren't. They didn't. He has brand new legs, and you can tell because he has these new single-jointed knees they've been doing where the hinge is at the knee instead of, you know, the thigh cut up here, although he still has a thigh cut here. So he's got a uh, regular leg movement, thigh cut, knee bend, and knee swivel. Uh, and then of course he's got the ankle tilt and uh, all that stuff. So that's great. Uh, he does have this stripe that goes all the way down. And I did neglect to also mention uh, that the torso is new as well because he does have the uh, butterfly joint. So there's a lot of new here, despite being reused with the uh, head and the forearms, uh, which is great. I don't know why it took them so long to give us a proper Return of the Jedi Admiral Akbar. Instead, we got this Force Awakens one, which I guess doubles as a Last Jedi one. You know, The Last Jedi, the movie where Admiral Akbar dies, where he gets unceremoniously flushed out of the bridge like a turd out into space, and then they never talk about him again. <laughs> I don't get it. I will get it. I love the sequels. I don't know why I'm bashing them so hard here, but Admiral Akbar is one of my sore points here. And it's not that Admiral Akbar is some superstar. He's not a heavy hitter. He's just a guy in the background in a couple of scenes from Return of the Jedi. He has, you know, three lines in the movie max. He's just over the last 40 years become a larger character. He's just one of the beloved looking alien guys with that gruff voice. And yeah, his blaster just fell out of his hand because his hand doesn't hold the blaster all that well in the first place. But here's the thing. While his, he has articulation, it is hindered by his little skirt thing here. So it's his back there. His head doesn't move. But how many different poses does Admiral Akbar really need to be in? He is a commander. He's not going to be on the battlefield. You're not putting him in these cool Han Solo poses. He's not holding a lightsaber. He doesn't really need to have any cool poses. So despite the fact they gave him butterfly joints for cool posing options, the lack of ability to move his head side to side, it does kind of kill a lot of that. You know, that's not the only option that you have if you want an Akbar, because the whole thing that spawned this uh, is the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi, Admiral Akbar, Kenner Deco inspired theme. I think I said that right. There's a lot of words in there that were right, but they're probably in the wrong order. What we have here is the exact same figure, but the paint, there's less of it. And that is purposefully done because occasionally Hasbro puts out these Kenner inspired Deco figures where they go back to the original toy and they paint the, the current toy up to look like that older style figure. They did it with Obi-Wan Kenobi. They've done it with Greedo. They did it with Boba Fett first. So you, you got a, a lot of options out there if you want some of these older Kenner style decos. As soon as they said this was Kenner style, I knew I had to get it because I have all of them. I like them. It's a fun little subset of figures that you can collect, but by no means do you have to collect. This was an exclusive to a comic convention, I think in London last year. So technically this was the very first 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi figure to come out on its 39th anniversary, the 2022. The shade of his skin is a lot duller, I was different, I'm colorblind. You can see that his pupils really dilated. Like, was that dilated, undilated? Hey, wait, what is it when it's smaller? It looks like he's kind of on drugs here. Of course, he doesn't have his insignia painted because the original figure didn't. His belt lacking all paint. The stripe on the side, different color, because again, it matches the original toy. But the coolest part about this, and honestly, really, <laughs> The reason I got this was because he came with his little command staff. 
that the original figure came with. I don't know why they didn't make this for that one. It, it only makes sense. Uh, it would have actually really been cool had they done a uh, Power of the Force 2 one. He came with that the wrist blaster that hooks on the wrist. I think that would have been really cool. But I'm glad that this one came with a little command staff that um, definitely doesn't double as some sort of bedroom toy. It's sculpted, but there's no paint on it. To kind of match the rest of it, there's no paint uh, really hardly on, on this figure at all other than uh, the stripe on the side and his eyes. And again, that kind of goes along with that Kenner Deco. And if you want, he also does come with the blaster. There's also no paint on this blaster. I don't care about it, so he's not going to be holding it. For me, this is going to be just a guy holding a baton, conducting an orchestra, living his best life. So, Admiral Akbar, these are your options. Depending on what you like best, you've got all the options available to you still for the most part. Technically, the hardest one to get is gonna be the one from 2017. He was originally a Toys R Us exclusive, and as we all know, not only was 2017 six years ago, so it's been some time, Toys R Us is long dead, at least in the United States and most everywhere else in the world that isn't Canada, and I think Taiwan or Malaysia. You can still get him on eBay, and he's really not going for all that much. Now, if you don't want the TFA version, if you want something from Return of the Jedi, because that's the look that you prefer, I totally understand that. And you actually still have both of these as options. A lot of stores online still have this one available. I don't know how long that's going to last. So if you're watching this later, that could not be true now. Uh, but there are other places and it doesn't really seem like he's all that popular, although he is a great figure. Now, if you can't find those and you're looking for some strange, or if you just really prefer that Kenner style deco, you can get this. It was the most recent release of the figure. It does come on this really nice and shiny holographic card back here. So if you're looking for something like that, you can get that as well. My favorite is the snack right in front of you, right in the middle. I love this figure. I feel like he is a sleeper hit. I feel like no Black Series collection is really complete without at least one Akbar. And if you're gonna get one, I do recommend the one in the middle here, the regular Return of the Jedi one. I love the paint. I love that they went the extra mile and gave him a lot of new molding, a lot of work went into this. And I feel like he's underappreciated. Now, if I had my druthers, I would have preferred he came with the stick instead of the blaster, or I would have preferred a deluxe version that came with his chair. I think that would have been a really cool release if they gave him like a little chair that's on a platform or something to sit on that has a little arm that moves around. I know that's crazy. They're never going to do anything like that, especially not Hasbro now. But this was Hasbro back in 2020. That was like the height of the line. The sky was the limit. It would have been really cool. But maybe in the future, who knows? Maybe it has, no, it's not a HasLab. That's not HasLab material. Anyways, that's it for my Admiral Akbar. Let me know what you thought of this. Did you like this figure? Did you pick this figure up? H have you been ignoring it? And maybe I opened your eyes to the snack that is Ak. Bar. Thank you for getting this far and thank you for watching. I'd love to take a moment and thank these people here for supporting me on Patreon at a Black Series level or higher. It means a lot to me that you guys still support me after all of this time. Getting your name on the video is the least I could do to repay you. If you want to see your name here, you can join my Patreon as well. But with that, you know, just making it this far, hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel, all of that is nice too. And then that's it. I will see you later. Bye.